everybody. How would you like to read Psalm 8 with me? This is a beautiful psalm that King David wrote. And if you would spend a few minutes with me, I pray we have a good time and that it'll make us smile and that we'll believe in God even more by the time we're done reading this. Psalm 8 by King David. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. Now, what does that mean? That means that not only is God bigger than the sky up above the earth, and not only is God bigger than the space between the earth and the moon and the sun, but if you have ears to hear, that also means that God is larger than the universe. Right there in verse 1, that's what it means. Verse 2, you have taught children and infants to tell of your strength or in other Bibles, to give you praise. The children and the infants, isn't that beautiful? Silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. Let me explain something. In the presence of God, no demon can speak. Satan cannot speak. Human beings cannot speak. Angels cannot speak. No one can speak in the presence of God unless he says so. Isn't that incredible? Okay, now this is really beautiful. Verse 3, David says, When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, you set in place. Well, there he's talking about Jesus. Did you know most Christians don't know that Jesus held the entire universe in his right hand and he spread it out effortlessly, the Hebrew word tells us, and he designed it. He designed the universe to tell the gospel story, even David, he's not born again, he doesn't have the Holy Spirit inside of him, says, the moon and the stars you set in place. What are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them? Verse 5, you made them a little lower than the angels, some Bibles say God, and crowned them with glory and honor. When was that done? Before, I say it again, before day one of creation. Verse 6, you gave them charge of everything you made putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Amen to that. Psalm 8, it's really beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I praise God for you spending some time with me. Amen. <laughs>